Starting back in June of 2022, I decided to make a new game on Unity. I had a lot of ideas but eventually I settled on trying to make an online endless runner game where the main character is a platypus. So I immediately got to work on giving the player the ability to move. And after that I made the first chunk that the player could walk on. The game will work by picking a random chunk from a list, and making it spawn in at a predetermined point on each chunk. But I only had one chunk so I decided to make more. The chunks wouldn't have been very interesting like this, so I thought it would be a good idea to make some more things for the player to have to dodge, jump over, step on, collect, and interact with. After this I thought about giving the game a theme, and here's what I came up with. I decided that the game takes place near the end of the world, and bad things are happening, such as getting chased by a giant endless stream of lava to make you keep running, and a massive zombie apocalypse and zombies are everywhere. Some zombies try to push you into the lava, and some zombies just... Now that I had the theme of the game I started to make more chunks. Some chunks contain, falling bridges, water to swim in, UFOs, giant ice slides, Zombies of all sizes. Pyramids. Panels that change your depth. Panels that change your gravity. Panels that change your size. Panels that make you jump higher. Panels that make you faster. Gems, as one of the game's currencies. Quicksand. Squids. Mummies. And finally I decided to give the platypus lots of costumes. The costumes will be broken up into five parts. Hat, eyes, shirt, feet, and something to hold. Right now I've made 24 costumes, but when the game releases I hope to have around 50 to 100 costumes. There's just one problem. If you can't change your costume in the game then what's the point of having them? Well don't fear, because the most recent thing I've been working on in this game is the main menu. And the main menu will allow you to change your costume and platypus color. And I haven't really done very much else on the main menu. Here are a couple of minutes of gameplay footage. If you made it this far into the video then I'm impressed. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the game's release.